Now, some people are going to say, and I'm sure some people will say, well, but wait a minute, Denmark, it's also, really? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty funny. This was, there's very little central planning in Denmark. There's no more central planning in Denmark than there is in the United States of America. The Danish government does not own the means of production. The Danish government does not central plan. It regulates its banks less than America regulates its banks. It regulates industry less than so-called capitalist America does. What it does is it redistributes wealth. It takes, it allows you the freedom to produce and then it steals your money and gives it to other people. That it does, and it does it pretty well. The United States, we regulate a lot and we redistribute a little. In Denmark, they regulate a little and they redistribute a lot. And on top of that, of course, Denmark is a lot poorer than Americans are. <laughs> you can make comments while I speak, I'll leave you. I mean, of course they are, on a per capita basis, and in terms of the size of houses, in terms of any economic measure, Danes are a lot, not a little bit, poorer. So if Denmark was a state in the United States, a state, right, like Massachusetts and California, how, where do you think it would rank? If Denmark was a state in California, where do you think it would rank? Rich, like, like New York and California, or poor, like Mississippi? It would rank number 49. It would be the 49th poorest state in the United States. Look it up. These are numbers. These are facts. You can pretend. People are good at pretending. And if you're a socialist, you have to be good at pretending. Because all of history, all of the facts of history suggest that you're advocating for a system that is an utter and complete failure. And is responsible, as I said earlier, for the worst, most horrific murders in human history. You know, I, I, I still don't quite understand how we tolerate socialists when we don't tolerate Nazis. 